so here is the sleeve that i'm going to be showing you how to make in today's video and by the end of today's tutorial you should be able to make sleeves that look like any of these ones because i'm going to be showing you how to draft this type of sleeve with stretchy cuff without stretchy cuff and so on and so forth so let's jump right to it you're welcome to today's tutorial on dummy dimension my name is dummy if you haven't joined the family yet please subscribe and put up your notification bell so you don't miss step-by-step -step tutorials like this so as you can see i have my basic sleeve on my table because that's what we're going to be needing for this bishop sleeve drafting and let me just go through it so right here is my sleeve length which is my wrist area because this is a long sleeve basic pattern and that is where i'm going to be starting to work from so the first thing i'm going to do is to determine how wide i want my cuff or the band to be right now so let's say you want to do this kind of design that has a very wide band then you should determine the width of that and measure that out so for me i'm using 2.25 right now so that's why you see me marking 2.25 like so and i'm going to connect that into a straight horizontal line just like that and then i'm just going to cut that out and this 2.25 gave me this kind of look so just no, take note of that all right so the next thing i'm going to do now i'm going to be slashing up you can go ahead and slash all the way up to this bicep line here but if you do that then your sleeve is going to look something like this which is also cool and it's a design on its own but for me i kind of want it to be a bit fitted from my bicep area and kind of slowly open up towards my wrist so that's why i'm going to be coming down by one and a half inch right here from my bicep line downward i'm taking one and a half inch and i'm ruling that out so i'm just trying to make this line also clear so you see and i'm also making this center line clear as well so this is what we have right now the next thing i'm going to be doing is to find the midpoint of here and here all right and also find the midpoint on the other side as well and after that is done you are going to be connecting a straight line from that line downward but you have to make sure that that line is parallel to your center and in order to get that straight line without using a set square i'm just measuring what i have at the top there and transferring it down below so by the time i connect those two points up to down then it's going to be a perfectly straight line all right so what i'm going to do next is to grab myself a fresh pattern paper and on this fresh pattern paper i'm going to be bringing back the sleeve that i just drafted and now i'm going to be drawing a straight line that runs from this corner right here all the way down like this and i want this line to be parallel to my center line so in order to achieve that i'm measuring what i have from that corner to my center line and transferring it down here like so and after marking that point i'll connect that point towards the corner of my sleeve so i can have a parallel line to my center line so i'm drawing the vertical line like so and the next thing i would do is to connect this horizontal line here so i have this at a 90 degree angle all right once that is done i'm taking off this fresh pattern paper and i'm bringing back my sleeve so i can slash it so i'm going to be slashing it through this way watch how i'm going to slash it so i'm doing it in a way that i'm not going to cut all through to the edge on both sides so you see this is how i did that and i'm going to be slashing the middle this one i'm going to be slashing it all through just like that and then i'm slashing this side not all through to the end and the same thing to the other side and once that is done i'm bringing back my fresh pattern paper and i'm placing this slashed pattern on top of it then i'm going to be matching this corner to this point right here remember that point that we marked so i'm making sure that this line is perpendicular to my bicep line and then um let me just point out real quick that the purpose of this line right here is because of cases where you want to have buttons when you are actually using band without stretch when you need some buttons or something like that to make it openable so this line is going to guide you to have a straight line straight kind of like a straight path where you fix your button i will show you that um later on all right so then just go ahead and stretch out this pattern this time be at liberty and be as 
voluminous as you want it to be or as less voluminous in my case i decided not to make it too wide because i don't want it to be super uh, voluminous this time around so i spread them about 2.5 inches apart it doesn't have to be even actually so just go ahead and tape that down and i'm going to be connecting with this kind of curve right here and note that i'm connecting from one end to the other end with the curve and you can go ahead and you can feel free to drop down this curve more that way you have your fabric flowing more on your cuff if that makes sense so do not connect the edges of each slashes together because that way it's gonna just come out flat and not nice all right so i'm just now using my marker to bring it out after using pencil first okay so this is what i have right now and this is what the total sleeve is looking like so what you want to do next is to um determine the length of the opening for the button because some there's going to be like a little slit that goes into the sleeve um, apart from the one on the cuff right so i used two inches right there so then i added my half inch seam allowance all around it then i'm going to simply cut it out so after cutting it looks like this and i'm setting this aside so we can draft the cuff first i'm going to be showing you how to draft a cuff for non-stretchy fabric so i'm ruling out a straight horizontal line first and next i'm going to be determining the height of the cuff this time you should take the height that you actually cut away from your sleeve in the beginning you remember we trimmed off some parts of the sleeve in the beginning right so the height that you trimmed off is what you should measure as the height of your cuff all right so for me it was 2.25 i marked that and i'm drawing a, a vertical line this way and then next is to determine your band size all right and ideally you could just measure your band or you can just measure what you have on your basic sleeve um right here at the wrist area for me i have 8.5 so that's what i'm going to go ahead and mark and i'm transferring that same 8.5 here so that i can square up the line and after that is done also square up the line here so that you have a rectangle that looks like this next thing you want to do is to add this overlap that we usually have on this kind of sleeve the part where your button is going to be attached to so for that i'm using half of an inch inch <laughs> i'm placing half of an inch on both sides like this and i'm connecting that together all right once that has been connected just go ahead and add your seam allowance all around it and then go ahead and cut it out so this is where the buttons will be and this is where the button holes will be so i just realized that i'm not supposed to add any seam allowance on this line because that part is going to be on fold so i just went ahead to trim that out and put an indication to remind me that i have to cut this part on fold all right so i grabbed myself a new pattern paper again so i can show you how to quickly draft a stretchy cuff so similarly i'm going to start by drawing a horizontal line and then i'm going to determine the height of my band again you should take whatever you trimmed off from your basic band uh basic sleeve in the beginning all right and in this case i'm doubling that so i won't have to um cut my pattern on fold all right so i have five inches after doubling it and i'm connecting that vertical line like so so and the next thing is to check out the measurement you have here at your sleeve length line for me i had 8.5 and because this is a stretchy cuff i'm taking out one and a half inch away from that so i have seven left so i mark that seven and i'm connecting this way and i'm also squaring up this way and once that is done go ahead and add your seam allowance all around it i added half of an inch seam allowance all the way around it and i cut it out this is what i have and that's basically it for this bishop sleeve pattern tutorial you guys i hope you like it please smash the like button for me please don't go away with my like it helps me a lot to know that you're enjoying the tutorials and i should keep them coming all right so if you haven't subscribed to my channel make sure you do so so you don't miss my details 
video tutorials like this and in case you're wondering what i did with this pattern here is it you guys a tutorial on this jacket is coming up soon on the channel or you can check out the channel right now maybe it's already up by the time you're watching this video please leave me a thumbs up bye